Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I will be teaching you how to make a custom livery for completely free in emergency response in Liberty County. Make sure to like and subscribe and let's get right into it. Alright guys, so there are a few things you will need for this tutorial. First and foremost, you will need a PC, laptop, something like that because you can't really make custom liveries on mobile. And the next thing you guys will need is the custom livery game pass for private servers. And it costs 750 Robux. Anyways, let's get right into the tutorial. Alright guys, so the first thing you guys are going to want to do is click the first link in the description and that will bring you to this page. It's going to be a Google Drive folder with custom libraries for the name. And you can click any one of these based off what you want. So let's go ahead and for the sake of the video, we're going to do a Elixir bucket truck. So let's go ahead and open up the Department of Transportation and click bucket truck. And then you can see all the sides you want. So let's go ahead and get left one and let's go and get right one. And then what you guys want to do is click the second link in the description and that will bring you to Pixlr Editor. You will want to click open image and click the bucket truck, whatever you want. And then you want to make sure you click Ultra HD. All right, so now we're going to be in the photo editor and Pixlr has some pretty cool tools you can use. So obviously we have a paintbrush over here that you can draw whatever you want. And then over on the right here, you have the navigation where you can zoom in and out. Of course, you can just use the scroll wheel. You have layers, which when you have different layers of the different images, you can sort them. And then this lock icon means you can, when you unlock it, go over here, click the cursor, you can actually move it around. So we will keep that locked by right clicking it and pressing lock. And then when you click this plus over here, you can add text, shape, frame, image, or just an empty layer. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and speed up the video and I'll see you guys when I'm done. All right guys, so now that I'm done with this, what you're gonna wanna do is click the background, unlock it, and then press delete. So now you should just have the images, that you, images and text you could have put on there. All right, so once you have it like this, now you want to come down here and press save. Then make sure make sure you click PNG and select transparent and click save as and then download. And then what you guys are going to want to do is click the third link in the description and you should end up at the Roblox Studio Creator Hub. And what you can do is click upload assets, upload, and then upload your delivery. So I'm going to name this left and press upload and then do that with your other one all right so now that you should have this up you would and then go up to the link and you should see these numbers here this is called your id so what you want to do is double click that and copy that then you're going to want to hop into your erlc private server go up to server info click edit server settings and then scroll down to your custom livery pack click open the editor and then you should be here. So go ahead and click the apartment that you made the delivery for, and then click the vehicle you made the delivery for, and then click add new. And then what you want to do is paste in those deliveries that you made. Make sure that you put left one in left one and and let's go ahead and do the same thing with our other one. Then you can put in your delivery name, make change your vehicle color. I think that's a nice color. And then what you want to do is click submit for approval. The approval process will take 48 to 72 hours. Make sure to like and subscribe if you thought this tutorial was helpful as I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. And if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.